lost the weight and I said if I ever get into 200 pounds again I'll bike across the country. So it started up, so be careful what you say because, um, yeah, <laughs> don't be dumb. Because <laughs> this morning I felt a little silly trying to get out of bed. Um, at the end of the day, um, you know, you can keep your commitment. So I said I was going to do it. Um, and then uh, an agent in my office said, hey, you said you were going to do it and you're at 200 pounds and now I expect you to do it. So instead, so this is what he said to me. So instead of you telling everybody you're going to do it, I'm going to go ahead and tell everybody for you. <laughs> right? So, so that's what he did for me. So he told everybody that I was going to do it and therefore that made me kind of have to do it. Right? So um, that's called accountability and that's really, you know, what, what it's about. And it's sometimes it, it sucks, but that's the reality of it. Um, and it's, it's, it's a commitment um, for bigger things. See, this commitment for me was for me and my family because we get to go do fun things over the next three weeks, get to see the country, and I get to take some time to spend with just them. So that's what it is for me. Um, my maths coach um, talked to me about doing this trip, and she said, well, while well, you're doing it, why don't you do something cool? Why don't you do something you know, for other people? So we thought about it, and we, and we thought, well, why don't I raise some money for KW Cares? So that's kind of what we're doing. We're raising money for KW Cares. We're selling these shirts. Um, $25, um, or you can just give a donation of any sort. I have forms that, that you can fill out, um, and I appreciate any, anybody that would do that. It goes uh, all that goes straight to KW Cares. Um, for the most part, my wife and I are paying for this trip um, completely on our own so that we could do this for KW Cares. When I woke up this morning, I was very uncomfortable, and and some and I, and I called a bunch of people when I when I started this journey and started this trip of people who did it, people who were successful. I, I talked to a gentleman. Um, he said, he said to me, well, I wanted to do it before I got too old, and I have a picture. Um, and he said, so I had to do it before I turned 70, and he was 69, so he had a year to do it, and he did it at 69. Um, and, but he, what he told me was that um, you don't have to do that amount every day. He said, your body will adjust. He said, just be prepared to be in pain for the first maybe week, and be uncomfortable for the first week, and then after, and after that it gets easier. And it's really about when you succeed at a lower level and you're uncomfortable doing things, as you do it more, you get comfortable. And when you get to like the 245,000 or million dollar area, you're pretty comfortable. Like you really are. Like we think, how do they do it? They must be really uncomfortable. The truth of the matter is, is they're not. People who succeed at a higher level are actually more comfortable. Um, I'm going to start with this. Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? Your playing small does not serve the world. We were born to manifest the glory of God that is within us, and as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. You so it is your choice of, of how you affect them, because it can be good or bad. Right? I, I'm going to play one other video really quickly, just because I really thought it was really funny, and I don't know if you, um, um, if you, uh, if anyone here watches The Office, it's not really funny, I guess. <laughs> um, I did 84 miles the first day. Yesterday I was supposed to put 61 miles, because I'm tracking it on this PowerPoint, so I want people to see, it's, it's about incremental steps. And that's really what it, because this is really far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for, if if some of you don't know, that's... The United States. <laughs> 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 it's like it's about four foot. Why do you say that? Yeah, because the answer to that is yes. Because <laughs> um, I was coming over here and going through Atlanta, because I was going to hit up Atlanta. But going to Chattanooga wasn't really going to be so much fun, so I said, let's go by the coast, right? It's going to be so much nicer. Right here in Claremont? There's some really big hills that I didn't even know existed. Um, so yesterday morning was really painful. Um, because they, they're big hills there. So are you taking the interstate? No, no, I take back rights. Jared, can I ask just be keeping going? And, and I'm going to have other people that help me that are amazing people, right? No, but that's true. That are amazing people. I have people set up in, in, the in the company I'm with right now that are taking all my tasks and doing them for me. And if they're the right people, it's really easy. Have any of you hired the right person? You don't have to do anything? That's the greatest part. Yeah, that's about hiring the group. When you hire the right person, because I have people that say, oh, I've got to do all this work. If they hire somebody, it's probably the wrong person if they're not doing it. I'm not helping you. Because we hire people to gain us more time. time. Or Free. 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 money. It's one of the two reasons, time or money. So I didn't want money. I mean, you know, I mean, I want time for this. So, 
I hire people to help me to give me more time. And when you show yourself by people that want to help, <laughs> good stuff. So who knew I wore glasses so I didn't get a bug in my eye? Right? <laughs> yeah. Really, find it. Because that's why you work every day. So find it. Think about what it is and then put a picture up of it. The people who succeed at the highest level, you know, have a picture of their family on their desk. Isn't that weird? Mm -hmm. But it's true. It's true because they get to see them every day. That's a big, big part of it. Don't be scared of where you want to be, where you are today, and what it's going to take to get you there. See, because if you did that today, because if you did it January 1st of last year, the things you do today will be a little, maybe a little bit less, maybe more, depends on where you are. But if, if your gap is larger, don't say and give up, because we talk ourselves out of doing things. We talk ourselves out of it. I can't do that now by January, so I'm just going to go ahead and take the day out. That's the reality of it. I mean, we all think that way. We all do it. It's just a natural tendency for people. But that's, that's about being purposeful. It's what's called life on purpose robot work, because it's being purposeful. So be purposeful in what you do every day to fill that gap. What are you going to do every day? Take whatever's left for this year. Break it down. Break it all the way down. Break it down to what you need to accomplish this month. What is it? How many listings appointments? How many buyer appointments? How many contracts do you need to close? Break it down. What's the price point? Where are you? What are you doing to get there? So break it all down. And then find out what you've got to do this week. I really, really believe that I have a computer program that takes our MREA model and <laughs> put in the data and bling, it brings it all down. And the reality of it is, is what I see when agents do this is they go, well, that's not very much. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> there you go, right? So if you approach it from that standpoint and say, I've only got to get three listings this month to reach my goal. Well, it's getting three listings listings a month, some uncreate, unbelievable picture? No, it's not. I have to have four closings this month. Is it an unbelievable picture? Probably isn't. And the truth, to get that, what do you got to do today? See, because if you can pick up the phone and call today, and you get, and you're only supposed to get two listings this month, and you pick up the phone today and you get four listing appointments, and you win your four listing appointments and you get three listings, what do you think tomorrow is like? <laughs> It's a good day. Well, you can. Well, <laughs> Gary Keller did it, right? <laughs> Gary's first year in real estate. He worked up until November. He reached his goal in November, and he took and and a broker at the time, because he wasn't with Keller. His broker at the time said to him, um, "You know, you reached your goal. That's really exciting. I can't wait for December." And he said, "Well, there's not there's not going to be a December. I'm taking December. Well, what do you mean taking December? I'm reaching my goal, and now I get the reward of reaching my goal, right? Uh -huh. I get the reward of reaching my goal. So he took the whole month of December off." <laughs> Doubt is faith. Faith is absolute confidence. Faith is genuine. Generate. 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 I speak really fast, <laughs> so sometimes the words all just come together. Um, faith is generate. Generate. <laughs> 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 all right, I'm just going to Faith is metal cement. There you go. Easy words. That's the what? note to self. Put easy words in your put for the day. That reinforces the target goals. Without faith. Thank you, Kevin. Get there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving up. Scheduling and time blocking. Stay firm to schedule, be committed, and follow time blocking. You will counter counterbalance your life accordingly. To do it. Now, I mean, you're lucky at Keller Williams, we do. We do teach that here in, in our company, but you understand, most people out there in the real world, they don't. They don't. Um, there is not enough accountability. Real estate agents generally become agents to avoid accountability. <laughs> oh, it is. Ask them. I mean, I do this all year for a living. So what did you do in the real estate? Well, I worked a full-time job, and I didn't like answering to anybody, so I decided to get my real estate license. <laughs> if you schedule those priorities and find out what those priorities are, what's your priorities in real estate? Make money. That's make well, sure. <laughs> That's <laughs> how you make money. Buy and sell. Buy and sell. Buy and buy buyers. How do you find buyers and sellers? I mean, those are it's right simple. There, it's not in the you're right. Um, lead, <laughs> lead generation is your number one priority. It is. It just simply is, and I know we preach it to you, but it really truly is. Never let anything take you off your schedule. Why? If you do not accomplish what's on your schedule, you will not accomplish your goals. Get that. If you don't accomplish everything that's on your schedule, you will not accomplish your goals. So if you don't do it, you ain't going to get the results. Not any harder than that. So we have to memorize that. Right? Memorize what? Memorize what? Yes. yes. Do it. 
Lack of motivation always creates a time management problem. If you don't do something, you probably won't. So what is your big buy? How do you, you know? Well, when we don't, when we don't reach our goals, what, what, what happens inside of us? Shut down. It's a lack of motivation. If you don't, you know, even not coming into the office is still a lack of motivation. Because I can promise you, if you don't show up to the office when you want it to, you know, when you said oh, I'm going to, and you don't show up, when you get home at night and you sit in bed, you go, oh, I didn't show up to the office. Mm, that wasn't. I mean, unless you're independently wealthy and you don't, you know, this is a fun job and you didn't want to have fun that day because either you're doing it for money or you're doing it for fun. If you don't show up, it's not much fun. And if you don't do it, you're not making money. Right? So you get in bed and you say, well, I didn't show up today, so it wasn't fun. Or I didn't show up today and I didn't make any money. That's what causes this. It's, it's not what we think it is. See, what we think it is is when we get on that phone and someone says, no, I'm not interested in, in using you. Please don't call me again. That's what we think it is. It's not that. It's not that accomplish today in order to reach your goals. Design your schedule around you, your life, and your goals. Keep your schedule simple and workable. See, that's why we got into real estate, right here. Because you can schedule around you, your life, and your goals. Because when you become an independent contractor, it becomes about you. And I wish when I said, hey, why'd you get into real estate, that someone said, because now it's about me. I'm in control, and I'm a good person to be in control of the ship. Not because I don't like the other person that was in control, so therefore, it's because I want to be in control of the ship, and when I'm in control of the ship, I can control me, my life, and my goals. But it still has to happen. It still does have to happen. Um, five keys to a successful time blocking. Be consistent enough to set the habit, so do it. I, I, Friday is my day. I take an hour on Friday, and I go through my schedule the next week. I make sure that it's open and it's available. It's there. You know, it just it's, it is what it is. And I think it's important, okay, ready, but it's, yeah, but it's like a three-hour class, and, and I've only got like 15 minutes, maybe I don't know. Um, but at the end of the day, the sixth personal perspective. See, this is what makes us makes us reach our goals, makes us do what we need to do. These six personal perspectives it establishes a powerful leadership mindset with six personal perspectives. Understand, we're all leaders. Why? We're all independent contractors. They did because of years. And they hoped themselves right out of the door. Hope is great. But we hoped themselves right out of the door. Because they, they weren't getting on with it. Somebody who does that much in real estate is getting on with it today. They're not waiting or hoping. It's just it is what it is. It's just a simple. <laughs> I really don't like you <laughs> because of who you are. But you are what I need. In order for me to succeed. That's like a poem. Yeah. Um, but that's the reality of it. See, because he's a hard, because he's a very direct person, because he's going to hold me to the fire big time, I tend to go, oh, I don't want to do that. You know, honey, will you hold me accountable? It's not going to happen, right? I mean, your husband, you're not going to hold you accountable because, yeah, they just, well, they hold you accountable to some degree. <laughs> Either way, it's painful. Um, but the reality of it is, is find somebody and don't be afraid of that person. Don't be afraid of that person. Because, well, but this guy, I mean, I'll be honest, I'll tell you who it is, is Rich Rector. I don't know, have any of you gone through Rich Rector's training? Oh, yeah. I mean, having him as a, as a coach <laughs> scares me to death because I know what it's going to... But, but truly, in order for me to succeed at a higher level, I, I've understood and got to a place where I get it. I get that. That uncomfortableness is going to have to happen. See, because I have a coach that we get on the phone, and she doesn't really hold me accountable. We just talk about great stuff, and she's a great person and helps me clean out stuff. But in order to take me personally to another level, I need to get to with somebody that's really going to hold my feet to the fire. That's really going to say, uh, yeah, you didn't do what you're supposed to do today, so um, don't, you know. 
what I've, Gary Keller, uh, someone who calls, get, hired Gary Keller as their coach. And Gary Keller called, called him and said, hey, yeah, did you get what you were done, uh, you know, you're supposed to do this week? Uh, well, blah, and he made up a bunch of excuses. Quick. And he said, oh, no, no, we got this guy. He called Gary Keller back. And he said, I don't know if we got this guy. He said, quick. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, hey, quick. And he wrote Gary Keller an email, and Gary Keller said, until you reach your goals. Oh, no, he wrote Gary Keller, well, you keep hanging up on me. I paid you thousands of dollars for this, blah, 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 blah. He said, that's why I hung up on you, because you paid me thousands of dollars for this. Because <laughs> you're paying me thousands of dollars on this. If you don't do what you're supposed to do, then I haven't done my job. And, and until you do that, then don't call me. That's accountability, right? <laughs> you think about that's accountability. <laughs> that's accountability. <laughs> do you think that person did their stuff next week so they could talk to Gary Keller about what they did? I yeah. bet you they did, because they're paying thousands of dollars to make that happen, and Gary Keller wasn't playing games, because if you're Gary Keller, you don't have time to waste. And if you know Gary Keller a little bit, that's his personality, am I not? I mean, that's his personality. You either do or you don't. I'm going to pay a minute, 15 seconds of it, but this is the, the what I want to end on. You can achieve what you believe you're capable of, capable of <laughs> is that a word again? Um, by having a growth mindset. It will lead to unlimiting beliefs resulting in unlimited achievements. Today. You just aren't. I'm If I set out and said I'm going to get to Canada today, so I'm not even going to apply. So don't think that your goals are unrealistic. Just work them out. It takes some time. See, we don't take time to work out the time that we need to take the time in order to take the time to do what we need to do. <laughs> but yet we managed to get our hair done, our fingers done, and, and blah, blah, blah. We do. Mm -hmm. We managed to make it to lunch. Nobody misses lunch. At least I don't. That's why how I got the 250 pounds. Until <laughs> 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 I replaced it with something else that was probably more important. But, so, understand, you can reach those goals if you do them one step at a time and stop looking at the bigger picture. Understand where you want to be, get where you want to go, and stop thinking about it.